As usual, when I do one of these reviews, I gotta disclose that I got this game for free by the publisher on Keymailer.com for the explicit purpose of doing a review. So keep that in mind when I explain how much this game sucks. I got this one for free. I feel real bad for anyone that actually paid for it. But really, I should know better. It's another collaboration by Sometimes You and Pigeon Dev, the guys behind Awesome P 1 and 2. These pillars of the community really just had to team up and grace us once again with more of their nonsense. It's a shame because Witchcrafty actually looks decent from the promotional footage. For one thing, at least it's in color. Well, keep your expectations low because this is gonna get bad starting right at the title screen. It looks so ugly that it's miserable to stare at. It's so dark and dreary that you'd almost expect this to be some kind of a horror game. The main character, front and center, looks awful. The proportions, the perspective, and that giant smile on her face look terrible. I don't get it. The splash screen when you initially start up the game looks fine. It's cute, colorful, and inviting. What happened here? Once you start the game, it takes a while to load. I actually thought it froze on me, but once the game gets going, then the load times aren't too bad. So here we go, this is Witchcrafty. For a game with barely any story, it sure has a lot of dialogue. I'm pretty sure the developer was trying to emulate, or at least poke fun at how Dark Souls tells its narrative. Much of the story is about events that have already happened, most characters speak in riddles, and this one time it's explained that the guardian of a treasure you are looking for has long been dead, leaving behind its giant skull. That's all fine, I don't mind this approach in storytelling, but any good story needs to be well written. This is the very first line of dialogue from the first NPC in the game. Hey, this is you, sleepyhead. Even the attack of goblins did not wake you up. Yup, it's one of those. I guess they just tossed the script into Google Translate and hope for the best. Very funny, who are you? I forgot that your memory beats off when you just come. This is seriously how all the writing in this game is. It never gets any better. My strength is only enough to protect the village. You are the only one on the shoulder. What? This is just as bad as Cruise Brothers, if not worse. Once I got over how bad the writing is, I noticed that the game doesn't look half bad. I like the pixel art, and the animations are surprisingly fluent. The music's not bad either, although it does get repetitive rather quickly. Oh, but wait a second, what's this in the credits? Oh, nice, all the music is just royalty-free tracks. No wonder they sound so generic. Well, I'm not giving any points for that. If you're gonna sell a product, make the assets yourself, or commission it out. At least the visuals are nice, I'll give them that much. But everything else about the game is abysmal. It doesn't look too bad, but the controls are not good. Mashing the attack button gives you a combo, but if you try to delay the button presses even a little bit, it kind of locks you in place and your attack won't come out until much later. It's a strange anomaly that takes getting used to. Performing a dodge roll is fine, that works, as does using the basic magic. It's just a short range projectile, not a big deal. The special magic attack doesn't seem to work half the time. I don't understand if I'm supposed to use it on the ground or in the air, or if it uses more magic points or not. It seems to work at random. You don't really need it anyway, but it's stupid that it has to be like this. None of that might sound awful, but you just don't know unless you try this game for yourself. There always seems to be something wrong with the collision. Dropping through platforms is a needless hassle that requires you to fidget around, and there are some floors that don't function properly. Look at this, I'm perpetually floating in midair here. I can't jump or attack. Obviously, it's not a big deal here, 
but stuff like this seems to occur randomly every now and then. This is what makes the game really annoying to play. Most of the time, it's fine, but something always seems to get in the way when you least expect it, and it gets you killed. And getting killed in this game is a huge problem that I'll get into later. Witchcrafty is described as a Metroidvania, but let me tell you, that description is extremely generous. The game is broken up across five chapters, although the final one doesn't really have anything going for it, so you really only have four maps. Here are all the maps in the game on one screen. For a Metroidvania, that's pretty pathetic. And isn't a big part of this genre based around open-ended exploration? Well, once you complete a chapter, there's no going back. This is so barely a Metroidvania that I wouldn't even grant it that definition. Every map is almost entirely linear, with only a couple of dead ends to collect extra money, and that's it. Sure, you collect new magic spells that you'll need to proceed, but it hardly amounts to anything. This is simply not a Metroidvania, no matter how you look at it. But here's the major, fatal flaw that ruins the whole game. Two hits, and you're dead. There's health pickups along the way in the form of collecting flowers. Sometimes, anyway. Other times, they don't do a damn thing. But for the most part, you get hit twice and you go back to the previous save point. There are health and magic upgrades scattered throughout the game, but you lose whatever you've picked up once you die. And I don't mean you lose them from your inventory and you have to go pick them up again. I mean that whatever you picked up before you reach the next save point is just removed from the game entirely. This has to be a glitch. There's no way this is intentional. As long as you go back to a save point, then anything you've collected is essentially banked and then you're fine. But if you're not careful, then it's possible to lose everything. And it's so easy to die in this game. Oh, that's real fair. I drop through the floor and I immediately get attacked. I actually made it through the whole game without upgrading my health once. But can you blame me? It feels like I can never make any progress. In fact, one time I actually managed to collect the three pieces I needed for a health upgrade. And it didn't give it to me anyway. So even if you do try to make it work, it's not even reliable. Then there's this one part where I keep getting hit by something invisible. Are you kidding me? Did anyone playtest this game? It seems like this whole square area deals damage for no reason. It took me a while to figure out, but doing an air dash lets me go through just fine. The game as a whole isn't necessarily hard, but only being allowed to take two hits is needlessly frustrating. After about 20 minutes into the game, I was already sick of it. The writing was a bad first impression, and the feel of the controls didn't help. Thankfully, I didn't have to suffer through this game for too long. I played through the whole thing in only 90 minutes. Yeah, an hour and a half. And believe me, there's no replay value aside from grinding for money to unlock the remaining PlayStation trophies. They're actually selling this piece of crap for $10 on the PlayStation Store. Are you kidding me? I can only pray that the glitches have been fixed for the console and PC ports, but I wouldn't hold my breath. This is the end of the game. The boss here is real simple. You just dodge roll through his attacks and then pummel him when he leaves himself open. It's another one of those. Follow the pattern, get your free hits, rinse and repeat. The only thing that makes this boss challenging is when he randomly fidgets around or teleports, but that's hardly a compliment. I try to avoid spoilers under normal circumstances, but the ending deserves special mention. After you defeat the only boss in the game, you enter a futuristic computer room. What's going on here? All of this does not look like a layer of a giant mushroom. All this does not seem to belong to this world. Shakespearean writing at its finest. 
Hey player, do you understand anything? Okay, now we're breaking the fourth wall? I know you expected a distinct outcome. Like me, by the way, don't think that I like all of this. But this is life. It happens. Sometimes questions remain unanswered. This is so baffling. What I'm taking away from this is that the developer didn't even bother to finish the game. And this is their idea of a cute ending. Yeah, real cute. It's not even an ending at all. Dedicated to all of Vita Island players? Thank you for being with us all these years? This comes off less like a heartfelt thank you and more like a middle finger and an F you to anyone who spent money on this. Here's the thing. Awesome P was never outright terrible. It was just aggressively mediocre. It was so bare bones and lame that it's not worth playing at all. But at least the game functions for the most part. And even earlier this year with Ninja Blade, yeah, that game's a downright tragedy, but the cutscenes can be funny, and I can tell that it was at least sort of trying to be a video game. I didn't expect to say this, but Witchcrafty manages to be one of the worst games I've reviewed. And out of all the crap I've played so far, especially from Sometimes You, that is really saying something. The art and animation are decent, but everything else is atrocious. It controls poorly, the level design is nothing interesting, the writing is awful, and it's a $10 game that's bad at what it sets out to do and won't even last you two hours, assuming you even bother to make it that far. This is nearly as bottom of the barrel as it gets. Taking a look at the trailer on Steam, it would look like there's a lot more meat to the PC port. But some player reviews seem to note similar issues, such as glitches and a general feeling that the game is unfinished. Whatever the case may be there, this Vita version is completely worthless. Don't even bother giving this so much as a cursory glance. Thanks for watching my review on Witchcrafty.